So collinear, all that means codes, if, um, hmm, who else can I pick on? <clears throat> if I said me and Miss Alema are coworkers, what does that mean? We work together, right? So when I, we're talking about collinear, what we're going to talk about is the same thing. We, me and Elaine, we share something in common, right? We both work at Mandarin. So when we're talking about something that's collinear, what it kind of makes sense that looking at the previous that they're going to have something in common, right? Right? And just breaking down the word and saying, oh, co, co, something is going to be in common. So we're looking at collinear. What that represents is when you're going to have lines that are going to lie on the same same line, or sorry, points that are going to lie on the same line. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we know it takes at least two points to create a line, right? A and B. We've talked about that, right? But what I can say is, what if I had another line, C? Would we say that A, B, and C all lie on the same line? Yes. So what we could say is points A, B, and C are collinear. And that's all it means, ladies and gentlemen, is when points lie on the same line. When teachers work at the same school, they're coworkers. When points lie on the same line, they're collinear. OK? Now, what about if I put D? Is D collinear? No, because no, it doesn't lie on the line. Right? So you guys are going to see a lot of times when we're going to talk about it, and we'll talk about, hey, are these two, lines, are these two points collinear? And that means, do they lie on the same line? So you could say point D is non-collinear. All right, I'm just not collinear. Right? Does that make sense? Co, 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 collinear. Ooh. All right. <clears throat> now, I might not be the smartest teacher.